Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the 55 gallon bin that has been cut in half and laid long ways. So let's look and see what we've got here. So it's been probably two or three weeks since I have fed these guys, and this is the part that is nearly finished, or I keep saying is nearly finished, but they are clearly not moving out of it. So Anne says it's finished, but uh, the wormies, they don't think so. But let's, let's look at everything else and see what we've got. Looks like we've still got, you know, a little bit of leftovers here. So we'll just keep moving those down to the edge and put them in with the food that we are going to feed this time. But kind of just taking a little peek here and see what we've got. Looking at just avocado shells and moving them down. Avocado pit, maybe stick that at that end, that's going to be a while. Either way, whether it's growing or not, just looking at everything here, looks like a good concentration of worms throughout. Got the yield corn still. Everything's kind of moved down maybe about an inch. You can kind of see this line back here. Looks like it's lowered about an inch. So it has accomplished some things. Looks like there's a good amount of worms throughout. Kind of moving things around here and seeing what we've got. Picking up the food. Flipping it over. Don't have anything as exciting as the, the worm ball from the rice and the African nightcrawlers the other week. I'll put a link up there. That was probably the best worm ball I've had in a good long time. So a good concentration here with the more or less biodegradable bags. Kind of just rotate things around. You can still see a good amount of bedding in there with the flecks of color and the, the white. So I think we're doing okay on bedding here. Just moving things around, making sure we get enough air to everything and nothing becomes anaerobic and inhospitable to my little wormies. Now, as I'm moving things over, I am seeing that the bottom part looks like it's a little bit more done. So let me move over this top part and see if there just seems to be more of a progression down here in the bottom. It does seem to be a little bit darker. So yeah, maybe maybe a little bit darker but not still not done so I'm gonna fluff it up here and get some air into the system so that they can continue on processing uh, both my food waste and my paper waste from my house and from work so in order for the system to work properly it needs obviously the worms and food, air, and the correct amount of moisture. And of course, right now we're transitioning perhaps back into spring. So we're getting into that time where the heat's not running as much. And so it won't dry out as fast, which will be nice. Because that is always really difficult to try and anticipate during the winter is how fast everything will dry out. So just picking the big pieces out and moving them to the end. This is supposed to be a wedge method. 
more done on this side, less done on the opposite side. So anything that's slow moving, going to move it to the end, except for avocados, which for some reason I feel the need to grow. But we're doing pretty good over here. Nothing smells weird, nothing's becoming anaerobic. So we'll just move the in progress stuff over here and anything that's larger like banana stems and avocado peels we'll move to the far end Oop, okay look at that even a Tivana tea bag will eventually shred I wonder what those things are made out of Ugh. get out of my bag get out of my bin alright so Again, with the whole principle of kind of stacking it up a little bit higher because it will collapse in on itself when it does eventually finish up. Yeah, sometimes when I get eggshells donated to me, they don't come in ground, so kind of just have to deal with it. So we'll limp these things up a little bit higher. down here a little bit and then we will add the new food I'll put my compostable bag there and then add the new food which this is a work bag so it's mostly coffee and, and bananas I, I think the population of my work lives off of bananas, baby oranges, and coffee. Pretty sure I could not prove that they eat anything else. Nope, I'm not proving anything else this week for sure. Coffee. Bananas. Oh, no. No, not even baby oranges this week. Holy cow. Okay. So it looks like the uh, worms... Oh, I'm wrong. Baby orange. See? There. My faith in humanity to eat their, uh, their proper fruits and vegetables has been restored. I'm just going to put the, the older stuff on top so that it has all of its good microbes that it needs to cover all of that up and then we'll come back and we'll come look at that again in another week or so. Alright, well not super excited. We're still only a little over halfway with the 55 gallon bin. I will put a link up top to the to the playlist for this so you can watch the progression from the beginning till now. Uh, even though it is getting towards spring, I am going to still leave the bubble wrap on it. With so much surface area, it does dry out more, so I am going to continue to keep that wrapped up nice and tight so that the moisture can stay nice for the little wormies. Alright guys, well, if you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up, and if you're not already a subscriber to the family, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to know when I'm doing something, exactly, hit the little bell button. But thanks for hanging out with me and my worms today. Everybody have a good night.